Thank you very much. Go, Jerry. Unfortunately, today is not a happy day. It's not a day in which we can celebrate anything. It's a day of mourning. But it also be, ought to be a day of reflection. Why? Why in the United States? You look at every other country. We've gone through these statistics. The statistics I'm about to give you aren't exact, but they're the right order of magnitude. How many people die of guns? Gun deaths in Great Britain, 95. France, 130. Japan, 200. No other country more than two or 300. The United States, 39,000. It's not because we hear that the gun violence is because of mental illness. They're crazy people. Anybody who does this, obviously, has got a crazy person. It is a slander on the American people to say that Americans are thousands of times more mentally ill, have a greater propensity by thousands of percentage to be mentally ill and therefore dangerous than people in Western Europe or Japan. No, the difference is one thing, and now two things, actually. The main difference is guns. We are saturated in guns. We are floating on a sea of guns. Why? Because the NRA is the lobbyist for gun manufacturers, not for sports people, for gun manufacturers. They want the profits of more and more and more guns. And we have a Republican Party and the president who are glad to be their lapdogs and glad to stop any intelligent gun control legislation. We passed in the Judiciary Committee, in the, which I preside over in the House, passed uh, universal background check legislation back in February. What's Moscow Mitch doing about it? We passed, we passed a bill to overturn the Charleston loophole back in February. Passed it in the House. What's Moscow Mitch doing about it? What's the president doing about it? We passed in 1994 a ban on assault weapons, on military style assault weapons. That ban saved lives, many lives, but it expired in 10 years in 2004. And Moscow Mitch and the Republican Party, George Bush, and Donald Trump refuse, refuse to let us pass such a bill again. But we ought to. No one has the right to use assault weapons, military-style assault weapons, weapons designed to kill as many people as rapidly and efficiently as possible. That's what they are. You don't hunt deer with an assault rifle. The only reason for those guns being in the United States is the profits of the gun manufacturers and the lapdog obedience of the Republican Party and, Mick, and uh, Moscow Mitch and the President to them. So we have to get rid of that. We have to change our laws. We have to pass the Charleston loophole, pass universal gun uh, uh, background checks, pass an assault weapons ban, pass a ban on high capacity ammunition clips, a whole bunch of things we ought to do. And in any sane country we would do. That's one part of it, and maybe the larger part of it, but it's one part of it. We also need to change the president who threw his racist rhetoric, who threw his racist rhetoric, talking about people coming to this country as invaders, talking about the infestation of people who are going to commit murder and rape, even though the crime rate among immigrants is lower than among uh, born, natural born Americans. But teaching people to hate immigrants. Teaching people in particular to hate immigrants from, quote, you know what kind of countries. Meaning, non-white immigrants. This is racist to the core. And it encourages people to act on that racism. We have a problem of white nationalism in this country. We have a problem of white racism in this country. We held a hearing in our committee a few months ago. The president denies it. The FBI sort of admits it, but that's the biggest problem we have in terms of racism, in terms of, rather, in terms of, of, of terrorism. It's white terrorism. Many more people are killed by white terrorism 
than by so-called Muslim terrorism or any other kind of terrorism. We must admit it, and we must have a president who stops encouraging mass murder through his rhetoric. When he talks about go home where you came from, to those terrible countries, when he talks about immigrants as, as an infestation, he is, whether consciously or not, encouraging sicker minds than his to act violently and murderously on what he says. Trump is so we have to call him on it. We have to change our laws to cut the, cut the prevalence of guns in this society. And maybe, maybe we can have a more civil discourse and a safer country. Yes! Yes!